Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Lake Michigan Fossils, where I go over fossils that I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, give you a little bit of information, show them to you, so you might have a better chance of identifying them on your rock hunts. So this week, what we're going over is the rugose coral, or also known as horn corals. So you can see the full horn right there, and there's the end of it, there's the other end. So... Horn corals are pretty easy to distinguish from the other fossils um, in Lake Michigan because they're always going to have a center point and all of the all of the little lines are going to be coming out from a center point on both sides. So none of the other corals really do that um, in Lake Michigan. Here's a good little, a nice little nodule. So you can see the bottom, the center is right there and the top, the center is there. There's a few different types, um, three different kinds of rugosa, I guess you would call it. Um, some of them are going to be that perfect horn shape, which I don't really have a really good one. Here's almost a full horn. It kind of got worn away there, but you can kind of see the top there. Um, then there's stubby ones that I find that are kind of more stumpy like this. But again, you can see all of those, all of those lines are going into a center point there. And then actually this one had a big jersey pocket in the top. So that was a pretty sweet one and a little bit of aggadiness going right there. but. So you can find them in any size again you know this is a tiny tiny little one that i found you can see that's the center and then the lines going all the way around and then the center on the bottom so a tiny little nodule like that or you can find them in full horns like this is a full horn just right in the side of a rock you can see the bottom is there the center point and then all the lines go up and then meet at a center point at the top so just think of that when you're when you're identifying your corals, um, they'll always have those lines. And even if you only find a cross section like this, like a, this is like the chunk of a horn, the horn would go down like this, boop. I've never found a perfect horn like that yet. Hopefully I will sometime. But even if you get a little piece like this, those lines will still be going right to that center point, you know, on either side of it. So, so remember that, um, I was usually in a circle shape when you find the ends, you know, there'll be lots of ends like that that you'll see and they'll always have the lines going to those center points so that's the easy way to tell so these guys are pretty old you know 250 to 500 million years old again um and they come in a lot of different shapes and sizes and you know they include a lot of different materials here's a very quartzy one with you know two or three horns running through it right there you can see the bottom of one and then it goes all the way up Another one there, and it goes all the way up. So you can find very quartzy, you know, regular stone, like dolomite this one's in, I think. Or, you know, this one is almost a piece of pure quartz, or maybe even some, like, calcite in there. It's very gritty, and you can just barely see the lines on that one going all the way up. But all in all, uh, horn coral, you know, not very common where i hunt for it i apparently if you go a little more north you know towards michigan and stuff they start to show up a little more but that's about it for the for the horn coral so if you like this video um leave a like if you haven't subscribed yet do that and as always stay tuned for pictures at the end of a little bit of some close-ups so you guys can see a little better and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching